Hi everybody, my name is Dave Marsh. I'd like to welcome you to your new One Home Client portal. In this tutorial, I'm gonna take you on a detailed One Home walkthrough and show you all of the features that your portal has to offer. Now, before I begin, I'd first like to mention that because each MLS may have slightly different requirements, the One Home portal that we'll be using during this tutorial may differ slightly from the one that you're currently working with. Nevertheless, the functionality is the same and for the most part, whatever you see during this tutorial, you'll easily recognize in your own portal. Now to access your portal, you'll first need to receive an email or a text notification from your agent, which will open the sent properties in One Home. Now by default, you're able to immediately browse any of these properties details. You're also able to create a custom property search or view your agent's contact information. But to access exclusive One Home features and password protect your data, you'll first need to activate your account. And again, this is only necessary if you want to take advantage of everything that One Home has to offer. So for this example, let's go ahead and activate this account. And you'll do this by adding your first and last name, as well as a password to protect your personal data. All right, so after you select the terms of service, your account can now be activated. And you're immediately presented with a login page that activated users can also access at any time by selecting the sign in button at onehome.com. But for now, you'll simply enter the email address where you received your notification, then the password that you just created to secure your account. All right, so now that we're in, we're going to begin by exploring the details associated with a specific property, starting with browsing the photos, either within the page carousel or by accessing the gallery. Next, you're able to estimate the monthly cost by entering different values associated with the property. You're also able to request a tour of the property from your agent simply by entering a preferred date and available time. Also, if there's any additional instructions for your agent or you'd just like to have an ongoing conversation about this property, then you're able to do this from the notes feature as well. Below that is a compare button, and this allows you to add up to three different properties for side-by-side -side comparison. To learn more about the property and the area that it's in, select the insights link for market trends and neighborhood demographics. Then select the map to zoom in and out of the region. All right, so in this next section, you'll learn all about the details of this property, as well as all the building details and other facts and features that don't necessarily fit into the other two panels. One Home also provides a list of public and private schools in the area, then rates them based on test results shared by the Department of Education. Below that is access to the public records data, and if available, any upcoming open houses for the property. Now, if you think this property might be something that you're interested in or feel that it's just not the right fit, then you're able to add it to your collection of favorite or discarded properties. And finally, One Home provides a section that displays how easy or how difficult it is to navigate this specific neighborhood, either by walking, biking, or public transportation. All right, so as part of the search for your ideal property, you may want to see what's available using different criteria than what you shared with your agent. To do this, One Home offers activated users the ability to create and save custom searches of their own. For this example, we're going to look for properties that are just for sale and are in the price range of six to $8.75 million. We're also gonna search for a specific keyword listed somewhere in the property's descriptive fields. And you'll notice that with each new update, the changes are immediately reflected in the map below. Now at this point, I should also mention that you're able to toggle between the default road view, satellite view, hybrid view, and train view. But for now, we'll keep it on the road and use the shape tool to isolate a specific area of the map to search. And while searching, you're able to use valuable map layers to include additional information such as area boundaries, 
properties located within a certain commute time and specific points of interest. All right, so now that you have your custom search created, as an activated user, you're also able to save it to run again in the future. And again, you're not replacing any of your current agent searches, you're simply just creating one of your own. Now, in addition to the property cards on the left, you can also access a specific property from the map or from the display icons along the top. And finally, to navigate between your own saved custom searches and the properties sent to you by your agent, simply select the drop-down list, then choose the collection that you'd like to display. All right, so One Home also includes a planner tool that helps guide you through each step of the real estate process. So whether you're buying or selling a property, this is a great tool that allows you to familiarize yourself with your agent's day-to-day -day activities. Now earlier, I mentioned that you're able to categorize specific properties either as a favorite or discarded. To manage these properties, simply select the favorite options from the header. All right, so the final area that I'd like to explore is the utility menu. Now if you've shared a friend or family member's email address with your real estate agent, then you should see it listed here. And these are the group members who currently have access to help manage your One Home account either by creating and saving custom searches or categorizing a property as a favorite or discarded. Next is an area that allows you to add or edit your personal information, as well as a section to toggle between agents. In this example, our client is also looking for a winter home in Florida. And because he's shared the same email address with his Florida agent, he's able to view all of the properties that she sends simply by switching agents. Now it's important to note that each of your agents are treated as separate entities in one home. In other words, neither agent is aware that the other exists or by extension, any of your activity with them. All right, so in this final feature, one home provides a property fit tool that asks you to identify your favorite features in a property. And we'll start by choosing between some basic property comparisons which will also be made available to your agent to help them during the process of their search for your property. Then move on to select a few of our favorite interior and exterior options. And finally, rank them in the order of importance. One Home then takes this information and applies a property fit score to each of your properties. And this essentially identifies how close of a match each specific property is to the one that you just indicated, which can then be sorted with the highest value properties at the top. All right, well, this concludes your One Home walkthrough tutorial. For more information, feel free to reach out to your agent by selecting their avatar. I'd like to thank you for watching and hope that you can join me for another session. Take care.